Hi, I'm Zhi Nanchen from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm going to present the work Enabling Low Redundancy Proactive for Tolerance for Stream Machine Learning via Laser Coding. This is a joint work with Lu Tang, Patrick Lee from CSK, and Qin Huang from Peking University. Stream machine learning refers to the use of machine learning for continuous streams of data items and can be viewed as a special use case of stream processing. The demands for stream machine learning are significant in various domains, such as online advertising and real time recommendation. To handle massive amounts of data, stream machine learning should be deployed in current distributed stream processing systems in which data streams are processed in parallel across different operators, they are executed by multiple workers. Failures are prevalent in distributed environments. As any worker unexpectedly stops working and its operator can lose all their states and the item being processed. Thus, fault tolerance is a critical requirement for stream machine learning. Providing fault tolerance for stream machine learning or stream processing in general must deal with the following unique aspects. First, the system needs to process numerous items that arrive as a continuous of data streams. It is infeasible to check and replace all dependent items for failure recovery. Second, operators often keep states in main memory for faster processing, but main memory is volatile and subject to data loss and failures. Finally, faster failure recovery is critical for real-time response. Most current stream processing systems supporting stream machine learning adopts the active for tolerance by triggering failure recovery upon the detection of failures. A common approach is to periodically issue backups for both states and items to persistent storages. If a worker fails, a new worker can restore the latest backup state of any operator of the failed workers and replace the items since the latest backup state. However, Issuing backups too frequently not only incurs the division disk I.O. that disturbs normal performance, but also incurs a non-zero recovery latency for retrieving backups from external storages. Some stream processing systems also adopt replication, which provides proactive fault tolerance by issuing multiple replicas of its item to different workers for concurrent executions. However, replication is prohibitively expensive as it multiplies the resource consumptions by the number of replicas. To justify our claim, we evaluate the recovery latency of full two widely used stream processing systems, sparse streaming and frank, under failures by varying their micro batch intervals. Figure source the results. For sparse streaming, the recovery latency is about 30 seconds in all settings. We find that a high recovery latency is mainly attributed to the high restore times, as sparse streaming writes streaming items to SDFS and reads them back after restarting the failed task. For frame, the recovery latency is larger than 42 seconds in all settings. The reason is that when a focal fails, frame needs to stop and restart the processing of all operators to log back to a consistent condition. Error coding has been traditionally used to provide for tolerance in the areas of communications and distributed storages. In this work, we construct the eraser codes based on the classical resolvement codes, which is called RS code. RS code has been widely used in production storage systems. RS codes are associated with two configurable integer parameters, K and R. Specifically, for every K uncoded data items, RS codes encodes them into R code code parity items, such that any K out of K plus R data and parity items can reconstruct the original K data items. This implies that RS codes provide for tolerance against the failures of any R items. For example, the figures shows a two two RS code where the overhead is two times to tolerate two failures. On the other hand. Replications need three times overhead to tolerate two failures. Recent studies also explore code computation as a special case of applying eraser coding for for tolerance in distributed computation. Coding computation applies to linear operations, such that the operation outputs of the k data items k 
can be reconstructed from any k out of k plus r cooperation outputs of the data and priority items. However, coding computation cannot directly support nonlinear component operations, which are commonly found in stream machine learning or algorithms. Making eraser coding effective for stream machine learning is non trivial. First, practical eraser coding constructions mainly build on the linear operation on data units. However, nonlinear operations are also common in stream machine learning. Implying this, any eraser coding solution for stream machine learning must support both linear and nonlinear operations for, for particular concerns. Second, while a computational overhead of eraser coding is less concerned in storage deployment compared to the more dominant bandwidth and I.O. constraints, the continuous real-time nature of stream machine learning requires highly efficient coding operations for low latency response. Our contribution is Streamlack, a stream machine learning system with eraser coding to provide low redundancy proactive for tolerance for immediate failure recovery. We first design a streaming workflow and an extensible programming model for Streamlack so as to integrate eraser coding into general stream machine learning applications. We also propose two techniques for Streamlack to mitigate eraser coding overhead. We designed incremental encoding to mitigate the com computational overhead of eraser coding and hybrid coding computation to mitigate the communication overhead. Finally, we prototypes and evaluate Streamlabs on a local cluster and Amazon EC2. Streamlabs architecture comprises three stages of workers, namely sources, processors, and things. Each source splits the data streams into different micro batches. And it also encodes and distributes data items on each micro batch to multiple processors. Each processor receives data or priority items from one or multiple source. It executes user different operators on its received data items and emits output to one of multiple things. Each thing aggregates the results, the outputs of from any k out of k plus r processors and reconstructs the processing results of the k data items. A thing can also send a feedback to each of the processors and acknowledges the source once the processing of a micro batch finishes. Streamlabs programming model provides two types of interface, namely communication and user-defined interface. The communication interface constructs the mystery workflow of a man's different workers. On the other hand, Streamlabs further defines a set of user-defined interface, which are extensible. And this interface allows programmers to add implementation details for specific machine learning applications. The streaming workflow of Streamlabs guarantees that any applications implemented with less user-defined interface can, en can enable less coding for tolerance. Specifically, the streaming workflow includes three paths. For the encoding workflow, each source encodes and sends both data and priority items to K plus R processors. For the processing workflow, each processor may receive a data or priority items from a source. If the processor receives a data item, it generates the processing results on the data items. In addition to emitting the processing results to a thing, the processor also attaches the input data items into the emitted outputs. If the processor receives the priority items, it directly emits the priority items to the thing. Finally, for the coding workflow, a thing now receives not only the processing result, but also the data and priority items due to the processing workflow. Thus, if any results are unavailable due to failures, the thing can, link, can decode the constraints binding data items and then it computes the missing results. To achieve low latency encoding, Streamlex performs incremental encodings, which computes a priority items on a poor data item basis. Specifically, consider a priority item Y as A0X0 plus A1X1 plus A2X2, where K is equal to three here, and X1, X2, and X3 are the data items generated in order by the source. While A0, A1, and A2 are the corresponding encoding coefficients. 
Like when x0 is a variable, the source will first update the priority item as y prime equal to a0 x0. At this point, you can also send x0. While x1 is a variable, the source then updates the priority item as y double prime equals to y prime plus a1 x1. And you can also send x1 at this point. Finally, when x2, x2 is a variable, the source computes the final priority item y equal to y double prime plus a2 x2 and sync x2. In this way, the source can penalize the encoding operations and the transmission of data items and thus mitigates the communication of the computation overhead of eraser coding. Stream that can incorporate coding computation into linear operations such that its processors send only its processing results on a data or priority items to a sync without attaching the data items and thus mitigates the communication overhead. Specifically, Streamlets decompose the computation into linear and nonlinear components. For data items, the processor computes both the linear and nonlinear results. It sends the required nonlinear results to the thing and attaches the linear results to the output. While for a priority item, it only computes and sends the linear results. In this way, the thing can reconstruct any nonlinear results using any k out of k plus r linear results. Therefore, now we only need to attest the linear result, which is a general, it is generally a, a scala, instead of attest an input item to the outputs, which is generally a vector, and thus reduce the communication overhead. We prototype the streamlet in C with 90,000 slides of course. We use two real world data sets for evaluation. And we also implemented four algorithms, namely linear regression, logistic regression, SVM, and k-means for evaluation. We also compare streamless with both active for tolerance and replication. For replication, we choose two times replication and three times replication. While for reactive, we implement it as the checkpointing, which is the same as the sparse streaming and flink. And for and for streamlet, we configure the ice code with 5.1 and 4.2. We first compare the throughput in normal modes. We saw the results for logistic equation with KDD12 and K-means with figures. However, we also observed similar results for other algorithms on both data sets. Our results shows that Streamlet significantly outperforms both FT and replication. For example, considering the average over the different applications, Streamlet with a 4 2 is code achieves more than five times and 1.5 time, times throughput compared to FT and, and three times replication, respectively. We next studied the performance in pace of both single fault and double fault recovery case. We stop one or two of the processors in the midst of the processing of a micro batch. And we restart the three of processors in the same machines. We measure the processing latency of the two micro batches right before and after failure recovery. Figure source the results. Both streamless and replication have negligible latency difference before and after failure recoveries. However, the processing latency of the active incurs about nine times and 14 times increase after single fold recovery and double fold recovery respectively. We finally studied streamless scalability on ML EC2 by varying the number of source things pairs and the number of processors. Figure source the throughput results in normal mode. From the lack figures, both streamless and, and three times duplication scales linearly with the number of source things pairs, while streamless achieves an average throughput gains of one. 1.8 times over three times replication. And from the large figures, we can see that, however, three times replication cannot scale its throughput even if the number of the processor increase, since it's highly redundancy includes high communication overhead in the source and sync pairs. In constructs, streamlet throughput increase with the number of the processors. 
to conclude, we propose Streamlex, a stream machine learning system with related coding to provide low redundancy proactive for tolerance and immediate failure recoveries. Our evaluation results also that Streamlex outperforms for reactive and replication based for tolerance approaches with negligible failure recovery overhead. Our project is now also, also open source for the further research. And that's all. Thank you.